Today we're going over those best spots to visit in Pleasant Hill, so stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Rachel Capill, East Bay Realtor. If you want to know all things San Francisco Bay Area related, this is the channel for you. We are going over what it's like living, playing, having fun, and relocating to the San Francisco Bay Area. So make sure to subscribe, click the like buttons, do all the things, comment, and leave questions below. We absolutely love helping families relocate to the area. So if you want to know more about that, just make sure to keep watching and we're going to get into this video. The best spots to visit in Pleasant Hill, California. So if you're wondering that, you're going to want to stay tuned. All right, the best spots to visit and check out in Pleasant Hill, California. We're saving my absolute favorite one for the last, so do not skip ahead. You want to listen and make sure to stay to the end because my number one favorite is at the very end. So I think Dinosaur Park is an absolutely great place to visit in Pleasant Hill because not only can you come and like hike around here, you can take some awesome shots of the um, area. They have a great view here at Dinosaur Park that overlooks the entire kind of Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill, Concord area. So you can get some great photos there. You can also do some portraits, or if you just wanna hang out, have lunch up here, you can just walk, walk up the steps, sit down, enjoy the view, get some peace and quiet, and just relax, even watch the sunset. I guess it would sit behind you. You know, you could see the beautiful scenery. It's a great spot to, to check out. So that is actually not my ultimate favorite, but that's the first one on the list. Number two on the list is Downtown Pleasant Hill and Century Theater. So Downtown Pleasant Hill is the cute little area where you can walk up and down the street. There are a ton of little shops here and restaurants, places to eat. So I definitely recommend it. And I've talked about in other videos, you can go around the corner to City Hall with the kiddos and let them play at the park. Um, there's a little like area, a green area where there's a pond and you can see turtles and goldfish. But I actually really love the theater because prior to COVID, it, it was able to succeed and last, thank God. Um, they had rebuilt it and put in stadium seating where you could lean back, you know, eat your, now I think they have like pizza and all kinds of really good stuff to eat there. But you can recline and have a really nice time in the theater and it's just super comfortable. So I love uh, the Century Theaters downtown and walking up and down that strip and just getting like a cup of coffee or a bite to eat, whatever, having a drink at Jack's. There's like a lot of great stuff down there. So I guess my number two would be downtown Pleasant Hill and the theater. Number three, this is a favorite of mine too. Many people know California is known for Seas Candy. I actually really love Seas Candy and they have them in a few select towns and Pleasant Hill is one of them. So if you have not had Seas Candy, go check it out. It's super delicious and a California treat. And we have one here in Pleasant Hill. So you definitely should check out Seas Candy. All right, my number four and my absolute favorite things to do in Pleasant Hill is basically is going to be hanging out at Off The Grid. Now, Off The Grid happens kind of when it gets a little bit into springtime. I think it starts in April and it happens every single Wednesday from five to eight o'clock at night. You go out there, there's food trucks. Every week is a different food truck. We'll have links to everything down below, but you want to go there at like, you know, I would say kind of early is better. If you have kids, it's great. Mark your little area, get your chairs. There's chairs that you can sit down and have the kids. You can get like blankets. We bring blankets and chairs and let the kids run around outside downtown Pleasant Hill um, near Crescent Plaza. So they line the food trucks up and there's usually about five of them. They can get busier in the evening because lots of people come after work. I have a kiddo and I can have more flexible schedule. So I try to get there like 4.35 and hang out. I usually have clients come. We all hang and have fun and just drink. I've noticed they don't serve alcohol, but I have a little secret. So you can always DM me below on where to get alcohol. But if you want to bring alcohol, I'm, I haven't gotten stopped by the police we've had at the area just drinking a couple glasses of wine and stuff like that. So always be mindful, right? But it's super fun for the kids to play and for the adults to hang out and just have a great time. There's balloon guys there that will do the little balloons for the kids for a tip. Usually it's anywhere from, you know, a couple of bucks to five, ten dollars But it's this super fun thing to do. It starts in the spring in April, every Wednesday, five to eight. 
always different food trucks and it's so fun and the food's great. So I definitely recommend checking this out. They also have summer months, um, they'll have live bands. So there's always uh, get togethers. I, I don't know if they have the schedule out yet, but in the summer months, they always have like live music and stuff. So really awesome, love it. That's my absolute favorite thing to do in Pleasant Hill. I highly recommend it. Get your friends out there, come say hi to me and enjoy because Pleasant Hill, even though it's a small little community, it's a great one and there's some cool things to do and those are my top four off the grid being my ultimate one. Hopefully I'll see you there. All right, so there you have it. My top four things to do in Pleasant Hill. There are more things obviously, but those are just the things I think that are good to mention. If you are relocating to the Bay Area, we absolutely love helping the families that are coming on over here. We know it's overwhelming, so that's what we're here for to help guide you and give you all the data and the things that you need to make educated decisions on where to end up. We love the East Bay, we love the San Francisco Bay. So just give us a shout, give us a call, DM, PM, email, whatever you think you may be comfortable doing, we are here for you. Information is all about down below. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and sharing is caring. And until the next video, guys, I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next video, bye.